Greetings everyone, the good tonight here today to sort of do a amendment to the last video I made. Now I'm not saying the stock as it's made 203 grenade launcher by Matrix Speed is the uh, embodiment of perfection. However, I did figure out how to fix the problem. Now as I mentioned earlier, with the firing pin, it only had a little bit of push. Well now, we have sufficiently more. As you can see, that is much further than it used to push. Now, as for how to fix this, the overall problem lies within the trigger mechanism here. Actually, it's not at all easy to see, but once you look inside the trigger, when you pull it, right in this little slot, there is a screw. Now, it's a small little screw with a very fat head. Now, how it works is I actually took out the safety mechanism. So the safety here has these little nubbies and the whole point of these nubbies is to catch the screw when it's engaged in the safe. Now the problem is even when it's entirely out of the way and in fire mode, it still catches the screw to a smaller degree. However, that degree is the difference in those one to possibly even three millimeters that I mentioned we were missing earlier. So as you recall in the last video, much to my surprise and dismay, this grenade would not fire earlier, despite being a flat base. So today, with this improvement, we're going to test it, just as a uh, quick little proof of concept that it's been fixed. So we pop open the chamber, load the grenade, seal it. Now, of course, you're not going to have a safety, so if you need to quote the movie, Glock safety, this is your safety. So, test one. Yes, it works. It works fantastic, as you can tell by our nice little poppy noise. So, reset the grenade, and it's good. Now, as I also mentioned, but didn't show in the last video, there is the, um, I believe it's made by ICS. It's this basically little cap grenade. It fires a cap, and the cap goes flying, it causes all sorts of chaos and mayhem, and it's sort of an anti-vehicle sort of setup. So, what we're gonna do is as you can tell here, it has a recessed pin. And with the recession, it makes it, made it sufficiently hard to the point where one commenter on Evike actually said you could not fire these grenades. True with the stock version. Not, not to discredit this guy in any way, shape, or form. But now, if you load it, well, that's a just lob a cap. You know, you know what? Let's, let's not lob the cap. I'm going to need you to believe me here for a second. We're just going to load this little shell, because I live in a tiny Japanese complex and lobbing a shell will destroy most of my valuables. It's just, there we go. It fits a little awkward. However, does it fire? Yes. We can launch these ICS caps now, which is fantastic, because I was initially under the impression you couldn't. So, what we have is our little $50 grenade launcher, which is half the price, even a third of the price of some of the competitors. All that is made in China. So it does work though. And that's the important thing. And this means that at a low price, if your goal is just to get like an initial grenade launcher or you actually want to have grenades to launch out of said launcher, then this might not be a bad call. At least not initially. What the longevity is going to be has yet to be seen. But we'll, we'll see. I'm going to be doing these updates as time goes on. So, with that being said, how was this problem remedied? Well, inside the trigger mechanism, when you pull the safety back, let's see if I can get on this side, there we go. When you pull the safety back to the forward position, or to the full safe position, there's a little screw on a piece of uh, aluminum. You basically want to undo that screw and pull that out. It will look like this. This is a little clicky piece of aluminum in there. That basically helps set the uh, trick, the safety mechanism that catches on the screw and prevents everything from happening. So once that's removed, the actual trigger mechanism uses a small punch pin that goes through this slot here. So all you need to do is take a small punch pin set. If you don't have a punch pin set, find a real adult or I guess Improvise. It actually came out incredibly easily, and once that was removed, you can pull out the safety. And then you'll be able to see the little screw in there that I'm not able to 
very efficiently show you, although it is very, very obvious from my point of view. It's just right on the back end. So where the safety is, where the safety gets pulled from, you'll see the screw that would normally catch on it. You can either unscrew that or you can leave it as it is. You might need to take it out just a bit so the trigger gets a full pull. But initially, the trigger only went about this far. And now you get a nice solid pull every time you yank on it. So, that is how you fix this Matrix grenade launcher so that it goes from a $50 paperweight to something you can actually use. And since you can actually use it, with wear and tear it may eventually break, but it's, a, it's basically, what the grenade launcher is, as many of us know, is it's basically just a fancy, very realistic looking thing, and in the end it takes a push of a button and turns it into the pull of a trigger. So, that's all I have for you guys today. It does work now, which makes me happy, and it also means that anyone else could get a $50 little grenade launcher if grenades are your thing. Of course, in another video, we're going to cover whether or not grenade launchers are even worth it. Because some people, I mean, the grenades aren't cheap, it's a huge cash sink, and their use is very situational. Although, despite all these, the, and all, they're a pain to reset the grenades too. I've been wanting to try the uh, CNC multi-purpose grenades. If anyone has any experience with those, please let me know, because I'm looking at ordering some. Because the whole problem I have is reloading the shower shell grenades requires a speed loader and it takes a considerable amount of time particularly when you have multiple grenades and you only got 10 minutes of downtime because you decided that you weren't going to get shot the last game and you wanted to be the last survivor so now you got to reload all your mags and all your grenades this could take the most amount of time whereas the first and second person to get shot have already done all the reloading or never even fired so Things to consider, the CNC ones, and then you just dump the grenades in and cap them real quick, so really curious to see what the difference is. So, there you go. This grenade launcher, it works, and now I can re-amend my initial, hey, don't bother with it, into a, hey, this is actually a good, solid idea, particularly for an entry-level grenade launcher. Particularly if you want to see if you really want to even use a grenade launcher, or if it fills that gap in your role that you need filling, so... There you go, everyone. That's all I have for you. So I'm going to turn the decision based on new evidence. So no, I'm not a flip-flopping politician. The joke had to be made. So there you go. That's all I got for you guys. So if you want to get the grenade launcher, I can give you a thumbs up. Go ahead. As opposed to the initial ee, but make sure you have a pin punch set or something to get the uh, pin out so you can remove the safety. So the grenade launcher will actually work. Otherwise, it's just gonna look cool or you're using it for a cosplay or something like that matter. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off with that. So cheers everyone, stay chivalrous, and I will see you on the field.